Hi, I'm Michael C. Potter with Monday Night Movies here at Media Central. With us we have Chris Maloney. Uh, he's going to be talking about his film, which is a documentary called Cole. Welcome, Chris. Thank you. Um, so tell me a little bit about the film and, and what inspired you to make this. Well, um, two years ago, in 2010, uh, my best friend growing up, Cole Waldron, he's a Cincinnati native, uh, he ended up losing his battle with um, drug addiction. So um, when that happened, I just kind of started compiling like old home videos of the two of us and old pictures and talking to family and friends and putting that all together into kind of like a way to um, reconstruct his life and also to just kind of talk about addiction in a really um, specific personal way, like not, not as this huge um, faceless crisis, but rather as like an awful thing that happens to individuals and happens to families. So it's kind of a combination of his life and his disease, which is affecting so many people, um, just coming together into this one documentary film. So how did it, how did it affect you making this documentary? Uh, making it, it was a, uh, it was kind of a, a joyful experience, which I didn't really expect. I expected it would be harder and maybe more difficult, but getting to um, recall all these good times that we had together and getting to just kind of share all these things with his family, that was a very good thing for me. And I think it was really healing for me and healing for his family too. And um, it, was, it was just a way of dealing with the grief of it. When you lose someone, um, that grief takes on different forms for different people. For me, it was this desire to make sure that he wouldn't be forgotten and make sure that our friendship would somehow be documented. Um, he's got two kids, they're six and four now, and I hated the idea of the two of them not knowing what kind of a guy their dad was when he was a kid or, or um, what kind of a friend he was. So. This film was like my way of giving his kids something that will let them know forever who their dad is. Do you think that doing this documentary has helped you uh, with the grieving process? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this was something to, um, th this was something that came out of the this awful situation. Like, I, I don't think that this situation is good in any way, but good can come out of it and um, definitely for me it was it was a healing thing and I, I think it's been that way for a lot of people not just people in his family but um, we've been taking it around different drug treatment centers in the Cincinnati area and uh, different people who didn't even know him they're able to identify like my son is going through this or my mom is going through this or something like that and it's um, it's, I think he would be very happy to know that his death is like serving to help other people, even though he didn't know any of them. That's great. So how, how do you feel now that the project is completed and, and you're showing it to others? Um, I feel like it's showing it to other people is like the natural next step, you know. Uh, it was a very personal thing for me and a very personal thing for his family, but I think all of us have this desire to kind of share him with everybody else and to share the story with everybody else. So um, I feel, I think I feel like I understand the grief better than I did when I was making the film because now it's like all had a chance to catch up with me. During the making of the film, there was an objective in mind and there was a goal to finish this film and um, I feel good now that I've found a way to just put on record okay this is my friend this is how I feel about him and now I want to share it with with everybody you were talking about goals a little bit ago um, what was your goal in making this film was it to show other people or was it just kind of uh, for your own personal use it started out as a way to kind of help his family um, heal and to give his family something to remember him by. 
And then after it was done, um, we kind of looked at it and, and realized this has the potential to reach other people too. And that's what we've been hearing when we take it to drug treatment centers, people who we've never met before see it and say, this needs to have a wider audience. So um, the goal initially was something very different than what, it's, what it is now, because the goal was so kind of small and, and um, personalized. Mm -hmm. And now um, it's, we're hoping it, it just has more of a universal appeal so that other people that we didn't even have in mind at the beginning can um, somehow benefit from it. So how long is the, is the actual film itself? It's just under an hour. Under an hour. How yeah. long did it take you to put together? About a year. About a year. Yeah, I, I started, um, I, started uh, I, I guess about a year after he had been gone, just kind of gathering material and talking to his family. And then it's been finished for a few months now. So all in all, he's only been gone for two years. And um, about a year of that time was spent putting it together. I know a lot of events like this can can often change people a little bit. Do you feel like it's changed you in any kind of way? Um, not only just the event, but but making the film. And do you think um, it kind of helped uh, to soften the blow, or did, do you think it made it worse? It's a good question. Um, well, the event itself, uh, for me personally, it's helped me to have this new sympathy for people who struggle with addiction that I didn't have before because I didn't, I'm like, I was like most people in that um, I didn't have an accurate understanding of what addiction is. I think that um, most people have the stigma about it, which is almost like, you know, when someone dies from an overdose or something, it's, they've gotten what they deserved or they're just kind of on the, the outskirts of society. Um, but the truth is, you know, he was a good kid from a good family. Then the two of us, our childhoods were very much the same and connected, so it could have been me just as easily. And, and seeing, now that it's so close to home, there's this whole group of people now that I can't dismiss anymore. And I used to be able to dismiss them because I didn't understand. But um, after he had been gone for a while, I went to this place in Cincinnati, it's a drug treatment center, and I, I sat in the director's office for a while and I, I just, I didn't want to leave until I understood what addiction was. And just from my own personal understanding, I wanted to know, all right, my friend's gone because of this. Why, what is it? What is it that, that led to his being gone now? And um, they just kind of, they were very good about it. They kind of talked to me through, well, here's what addiction is, here's what it does to your body. And it's not a moral choice that you can make. Once, if you have the genetic makeup that makes you predisposed to addiction, uh, once that drug or that alcohol or whatever it is gets in your system, whereas other people, like I might be able to take a drink and walk away from it, other people, they get a little bit inside of them and they can't, I mean, they can hardly breathe unless they have it. Um, and that's, that's not really a choice that they make. They, they don't want to live like that. Um, it, it's something that takes hold of them. And it's a very awful, painful um, existence. And so now it's, I'm just, my eyes are open to how enormous the problem is and how there are so many people who don't know how to get the help that they need. And so I'm hoping that this film is like a, a catalyst to helping people understand that, you know, we understand it's an it's it's a disease. It's it's something that you need to get help for. So here's how you can get some help. And there's some information at the end of the film about a local center that does offer help like that. So anything like if it's this film or if it's a discussion or anything that that helps people to understand that, um, you know, there are ways to get help and that they're not forgotten about. Um, that's, that's really one of the things that I've learned. That's excellent. Um, so <clears throat> obviously this is a very sensitive subject. Um, but can we talk about the actual putting of the film together a little bit? 
Mm -hmm. um, what was that like for you? Um, I know you said that it it brought about um, some feelings that you weren't expecting. Um, how what, were there any challenges in, in putting it together, and what lengths did you go to 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 finish it? And was, did it ever get too hard, um, either you know uh, logistically or emotionally? Uh, I was always aware that I was kind of walking a a, a tricky boundary in because I didn't want to sensationalize. Um, his death or his life. I didn't want to go into a lot of gory details or anything like that um, because I wanted the focus to be on him as a person, not on how he died. I mean, he could have died any number of ways, but it was really about him as a person and, and what he contributed to the world while he was here. So um, that was something that I didn't want to, I didn't want to have any of it go in that direction, um, and that was a that was a constant um, kind of point of contention for me. I wanted to remember him and not not anything that wasn't really truly him. Um, but a lot of it, like I, I mean, I mentioned that some of it was unexpectedly good and fun. I mean, it was. We went back to his brother and I went back to um, some of the houses that that we kind of grew up in together. We went back to the house that we used to have sleepovers in all the time and the people who live there now let us come in and look around and we, we did some filming there and just kind of remembered these stories that happened there and like just being back there for the first time in so many years brought back all these memories but they were good ones you know and it was um, just a really good way to remember someone to not have all the focus be on their death but to be on their life and uh, that was something that I could not really have anticipated, but it was one of the pleasant surprises out of doing the film. That's good. Um, had you had you done any filmmaking or anything like that before this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah um, my first like significant work was um, I, I did a movie called The Death of Andy Kaufman. It's about the performance artist Andy Kaufman mm -hmm. a few years ago. And then um, I, I did a movie about uh, the American Shakers up in uh, New England, for the most part. But um, and, well, and right now, actually, I'm working on something called Crypto Trip. It's about uh, all these unexplained creature sightings in the United States, like Bigfoot and so forth. Um, but this one, this project, Cole, was uh, definitely the most personal of anything that I've that I have ever done. So it was kind of like a natural place for you to go to kind of channel your, your energy into making something positive out of a, a, an unfortunate situation. Right, right. Filmmaking is what I do anyway. So when something affects me personally, um, it's only a matter of time before I, it just kind of naturally finds its way into film somehow. So is there anything that you want to tell anybody that uh, has dealt with addiction either themselves or someone they know? Um, well, there are a lot of places out there now, more places than ever, that offer, you know, free help to just kind of overcome these addictions that are so rampant right now. So, you know, if there's any type of shame associated with it or any type of stigma associated with it, the people that at these centers don't look at it like that. They just look at it as, here's something that we can help you with. And um, people are learning more and more now than ever then that, um, that it is a disease and that it's something that needs to be addressed just like any other disease. So for people who are suffering from it now or who know people who are suffering from it now, um, the important thing is to just get over the shame of it or give over over the guilt or whatever it is and just find some way to get help because there are people who are offering that type of help. And um, this film, I mean, what we're doing right now is we're just taking it to different places, any place that'll have it shown. Um, we're having free screenings 
and anybody who wants to come and learn about addiction or wants to learn about um, ways to kind of overcome addiction or what kind of resources there are, um, it's, that's what the film is for. So we're looking for any type of outlet, whether it be schools or drug treatment centers, like any place we can bring the film to hopefully have it do some good. Okay, excellent. Um, and you said that your, your film was available free mm -hmm. um, and we'll have some contact information up at the end of the, the film and, and at the end of this segment as well, just to make sure that people know where they can get it. Uh, is it available online as well or is it in order of a DVD? Yeah, it's just a, a bunch of DVD copies that I have that, I, that I'm happy to distribute to anyone who needs them. Okay, excellent. Um, from a filmmaking standpoint, is there anything that you would like to tell anybody that is interested in making documentaries, especially if they are, are dealing with something like you have and, and want to use that as a way to uh, uh, deal with a, a sensitive topic? Um, is there anything that, y that you can talk about or, or tell them that you faced in any challenges or, or uh, triumphs? Um, the only thing I can I can really say is from experience and that's that um, for me it's been a very healing thing to uh, to take something very bad and uh, just kind of pour your heart into trying to make sense of it and it, it never makes those situations any less awful than they are but you can make something good out of it. If, if you can help somebody else out through, um, you know, some kind of terrible thing that you've gone through, whether it be a documentary film or any other creative outlet, um, you know, that's a positive thing. Okay, great. All right, well, thank you, Chris. Again, we are here with Chris Maloney with his documentary, Cole. My name is Michael C. Potter, here at Media Central with Monday Night Movies.